In my opinion, last 10 years uh, bring the global changes in the world. Not only internet boom, but also emerging markets grow, bring the new opportunities, new challenges for existing companies and for new startups who start their businesses in a new environment. And I think it's all about the opportunities which didn't exist uh, 20 years ago. And these opportunities exist in the countries which before was not in a big map of the global companies. And it's not only opportunities to build something in your own country, but to build something which can be competitive and big and uh, successful in the global terms. And the new business leaders is growing up, I think is now facing the challenge to manage the companies growing very fast in the countries, but most of the countries not very well developed and most of the leaders know and understand how to manage companies in the underdeveloped situations where it's not everything is settled, not everything is clear, not all the um, rules established and uh, not all infrastructure is developed. It's a big challenge for the leaders, it's a big uh, risk, but it's um, also, I think, mean, giving them very good advantage to compete in the global world because they operate much more dynamic, much more aggressive, much more open mind without uh, being stick with some ideas or some uh, rules. And the main challenge for this leader will be how to operate in the more developed markets where it will be more regulations, more uh, developed system of control of the more the system of about uh, the bigger competition and much more tougher from the point of the um, operational systems issues, efficiency of the HR operation technology systems. I mean, the key element of the success of the many new leaders will be how well they can continue manage the growth of their companies in the <coughs> from national level to multinational level and manage the not only grow the sales and revenue but grow, manage the growth of the operational technology system manage the system of the controls and risk management um, these all companies is now becoming the new champions we all I think all, all oriented in the, uh, to the clients to the services and I think the service industry is dominating more and more in the global world because of the new information information revolution which is happening now in a, in a world with new technology uh, changes that's allowing many people access to the many services directly and I think it's all uh, bringing new opportunities for the uh, companies which was just established a couple of years ago to become big and it's not only in the emerging market, but in also in the developed country, like Google, I think it's a good example of the success of the new company we just established in, uh, seven, eight years ago and became one of the champions in, uh, worldwide. Uh, it's all showing that you need to be innovative, you need to be uh, very um, open-minded and looking what's the main uh, service people want to get, what's the main idea you have in your mind and how you can deliver to your clients and finding the ma main uh, sources of this uh, delivery, making it cheaper, uh, efficient, and safe. Um, of course, for most of the companies who was growing in uh, emerging countries, the biggest challenge will be uh, language issue and uh, management skills, because most of the companies are very young and their management is uh, also as managing company in a uh, stage where the company was much smaller and hiring new professionals from different countries will be a ch big challenge. Making your own companies more international, which can operate in uh, different uh, multilingual countries and operating in a, with the management who has different backgrounds. It will create some issues for Indian, Chinese or Russian companies. But I think with all these <coughs> countries, uh, companies has a chance to integrate the world experience sooner compared with many others because we're much easier, we are more open and uh, we have less legacy from the past. For example, Russian business people, they don't have 70 years, I mean, out of the uh, world uh, economic system. 
now becoming integrated part of the economy, allowing us to be uh, more flexible, more open-minded, and more <coughs> quicker from decision-making processes. Um, we are setting up a new business school in Russia because we believe it's a benefit from the both sides. For Russians who want to be studying about the business in the country, not going abroad, and for the foreigners who wants to come and learn about how to operate a business in emerging markets or developing markets or transition economy, it's um, better to be in a country which is can be used like example uh, and better to understand how to do business in this country when you start your education in the country when you can see a lot of issues minor issues which is maybe not will be visible when you will be studying uh, sitting in a very nice office in uh, Boston or in San Francisco or in Fontainebleau. It's uh, much better for the people to understand what it means to be a certain environment, what it means being in an environment is to continue not very professional develop, but at the same time it's giving a lot of opportunities, a lot of ideas and people becoming very rich very quickly and losing money very quickly and uh, it's all going much more dynamic. And we believe it's uh, for Russians to <clears throat> get more and more uh, connections with the people from different countries, more and more opportunities to study together, to exchange ideas, to exchange uh, views. I think it will help Russians become more competitive. And we strongly believe that the Russians have a great chance to become <clears throat> one of key leaders of the 21st century in the uh, worldwide economy and like owner of the business and also like the top managers and we are sure within the next 20 years we'll see more and more Russians who will manage the champions in the different industries uh, and the company will be belongs to Russia or belongs to uh, international <coughs> other uh, or will belong to different other owners but it's uh, definitely Russians with the fundamental good knowledge plus getting his edu business education will give an additional advantage to compete against the very professional and very uh, highly educated uh, other managers from other countries. Um, I'm sure that for the Russia, developing business education will help us to change the entire mentality and the culture inside of the country, which is we are continue challenging and facing serious issues about how quickly our society will move from one system to other system. It will take time, but we believe as champions, as leaders, will help this process will go quicker, more efficient and better for the country and for worldwide, and will create more safer and better environment for doing business for not only for ourselves, but also for the uh, foreign companies.